In the lecture on remote sensing and tenure, I have said that actually we can, by having a look at the different agricultural use, we can draw first conclusions or actually estimations on certain tenure regimes or ownership patterns, very roughly. And um, this is what this practical um, session or use case will be about. A while ago I have published um, a conceptual study on how we can make use of satellites to locate potential land grabs in Sub-Saharan Africa. And you can have a look at this storyline, it's an S3 uh, build storyline. Um, and the concept is as follows that we will, so first I'm talking a lot about land grabbing and why there's a need of spatial data, which is now not of so much interest for us specifically. But um, the concept here is that we can make use of time series of NDVI and monitor certain changes. And by having a look at these changes, we can actually try to conclude um, yeah, on certain happenings of tenure change or tenure regime change. And um, what the study was about is that I had a look at uh, with a colleague of mine where irrigation patterns actually pop up all over Africa. And by yeah, knowing that for irrigation you would need um, a lot of money for investment, um, a lot of knowledge on the how to um, yeah integrate into the um, global economy, and yeah, various factors um, which allows you to kind of yeah just to know that irrigation uh, requires a certain ownership and a certain way of agricultural production. And by having this concept in mind, um, we use changes in NDVI time series to monitor possible uh, land grabbing um, sites. In my PhD thesis, I did the opposite. I had a look at where irrigation stops as a consequence of rapid land ownership change um, in that case of the Zimbabwean fast track land reform. And actually that is what I want you to um, yeah, experience together with me in a very short Google Earth Engine script.